Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. Hypothesis Testing Part 3 Two Sample Comparisons Before watching this video, we strongly recommend viewers to watch our videos on Hypothesis Testing Part 1 Introduction to Hypothesis Testing and One Sample Z Test and Hypothesis Testing Part 2 one sample t test and students t distribution students t test is commonly used to assess whether means of two independent populations are equal or have specified difference this comparison can be made assuming equal variance of the two populations or without making such an assumption we will also illustrate another popular application of student's t-test, the pair t-test. But we will see this in our next video. Let us see some applications of two sample t-test. A school wants to find out whether mean score of students who attend classes by two different teachers is equal. A company wants to evaluate whether mean growth of plants using two different fertilizers is equal for a particular crop. A magazine wants to find out whether mean fuel consumption of motorcycles of two makes is equal. A researcher wants to determine whether mean strength of two different alloying combinations is equal. First, we will see two sample t-test assuming equal variance. In case we want to test whether means have a specified difference delta, the null hypothesis will be given by H0 mu1 minus mu2 equal to delta. In case we want to test whether means are equal, that is delta is equal to 0, the null hypothesis will be then given by H0 mu1 minus mu2 equal to 0 or simply H0 colon mu1 is equal to mu2. The alternate hypothesis can be one of the following. H1 mu1 minus mu2 not equal to delta. In this case, it will be a two-tailed test with alpha risk distributed equally on both the tails. H1 mu1 minus mu2 greater than delta. This would be a one tail test with alpha risk distributed on right tail. H1 mu1 minus mu2 less than delta. This would be a one tail test with alpha risk distributed completely on the left tail only. Let us see how to perform two sample t test calculations assuming equal variance. The t statistic can be calculated as shown below. And that equals, in the numerator, the difference between the two sample averages x1 bar minus x2 bar minus delta, the difference that we want to test, divided by S pooled, that is SP, into square root of 1 upon sample size N1 plus 1 upon sample size N2. Where the pooled standard deviation SP can be calculated by using the following formula. The SP is square root of N1 minus 1 that is degrees of freedom of the first sample into S1 square plus N2 minus 2 that is degrees of freedom of the second sample S2 square divided by the total degrees of freedom N1 plus N2 minus 2. Note that the total degrees of freedom will be addition of the degrees of freedom of both the samples and that is N1 minus 1 plus N2 minus 1 or you can also say N1 plus N2 minus 2. The T calculated statistic should be compared with the critical value of T distribution with N1 plus N2 minus 2 degrees of freedom. The alpha risk would be on two tails or one tail depending on the alternate hypothesis. 
we will now illustrate the procedure to perform two sample t test with an application example a truck manufacturer wants to evaluate life of tires from two suppliers a and b to decide the sourcing strategy their engineering team conducts test to evaluate life of tires with 10 samples from each supplier the team has collected following data of tire life in thousands of kilometer are the two makes of tire comparable for the life at 5% significance level assume that the life of tires is normally distributed let us now see how to perform two sample t test using microsoft excel for reference i have shown the necessary formula to calculate t statistic here i have also shown the table of t distribution where we can determine the critical values of t distribution for our comparison first let us calculate the averages which are required x1 bar minus x2 bar in the formula will require averages and the delta here is zero because we want to test whether the tires have equal life so average of the first uh, supplier a is i just select the range and use the formula average and i copy the formula here and then i can calculate the variance here directly instead of standard deviation so that our calculation becomes easy so variance of a is 4.322 and for the group b it is 2.767 so let us now calculate the pooled standard deviation s pooled which we can calculate using the sqrt formula we have to put two brackets one for the numerator so the first bracket will be n1 minus 1 that is 9 star s1 square is 4.322 plus again 9 for into minus 1 star 2.767 bracket complete divided by n1 plus into minus 2 will be 18 and that uh, completes our bracket is that correct yeah the pooled standard deviation uh, is 1.833 based on this we can calculate the t statistic now so i put equal to the numerator is difference between the two averages x1 bar minus x2 bar so that is 42.9 minus 45.1 this is numerator minus delta is zero because we want to test for equality of the uh, two means so divided by now s pooled is 1.833 i think we need to put a bracket there s pooled and uh, star is qrt 1 upon n1 plus 1 upon n2 will be 1 upon 10 plus 1 upon 10 this completes the square root and i think one more bracket is going to be required so the calculated value of the t statistic is uh, minus 2.613 so the t calculated or the t statistic is minus 2.613 now this calculated t statistic needs to be compared with the critical value of the t distribution so let us look at the table now we will use this table and uh, i'll just make it little better So we have two tail alpha risk of 0.05 and 18 degrees of freedom, and we can easily see that in the table the critical value of t statistic is 2.1009. Now, since it is a symmetrical distribution, the left tail value will be minus 2.1009, and the right tail value will be plus 2.1009. as you can see the calculated value of t statistic is to the left of the critical value on the left tail and therefore we must reject the null hypothesis the t distribution table can be downloaded from our website www.world-class-quality.com let us interpret this with a sketch so 
so i'll just use this pen magic pen so this is the t distribution and it has it is a t distribution with 18 degrees of freedom so on the right till the value is 2.1 i'll just round it off to the one decimal so 2.1 is the value and on the left till we have minus 2.1 and our calculated statistic is minus 2.6 which is here so i just write minus 2.6 and the red area that i am showing here is the critical region and we can easily see that minus 2.6 crosses the critical value minus 2.1 on the left tail and therefore we must reject the null hypothesis as you can see this is little tedious to calculate and uh, if you wish you can use the excel procedure directly and the procedure is in excel addins click on the data and make data menu click on the data menu and then click on data analysis and then you can choose the appropriate t test we choose t test to sample assuming equal variances you also have choice of unequal variances and t test paired t test and then choose variable 1 also choose variable 2 make sure that you check the labels uh, box and you can either get the output on new ply or in the output range by marking the range in case you wish so that we will see the results on this sheet only and we click okay you can see that excel has immediately given the results the t statistic is calculated as uh, minus 2.61297 which is same as what we calculated here minus 2.613 in addition excel has given the t critical also for one tail it has given 1.73 but for two tails we are looking for the p value is 0.01761 and the rule for the p value is when the p value is less than alpha risk we must reject the null hypothesis as you know the alpha risk here is uh, the significance value of 0.05 and since this is less than 0.05 we must reject the null hypothesis excel has also given critical value of t distribution with two tails and that is 2.1009 more or less the same value that we got so you can use this procedure directly to calculate uh, the p value and everything and take a decision on students t distribution we can also compare means of two independent samples without assuming equal variances with t test procedure is similar with some differences in the formulas the following formulas are used to determine the t statistic and also the degrees of freedom this is the formula for calculating the t statistic and we have to compare this with the critical value of t distribution with degrees of freedom calculated with this formula so this is little complicated and we can use the excel procedure directly here instead of using this calculations the degrees of freedom are approximate and should be rounded off to the next integer let us see the conclusion that we get by using two sample t test without assuming equal variances so we again use the excel procedure with data command data analysis and then two sample t test unequal variances it's very similar procedure we select the group a then we select the group b with labels and then select the output range wherever you want output so uh, if you look at the results now 
there are some differences although the p value is still uh, low and the degrees of freedom that it has given now with the calculation is 17 the t statistic is uh, minus 2.61 it's almost or exactly the same yes because we had equal sample sizes and then p value one tail and t critical one tail t critical two tail 2.1 is probably same yeah slightly different than what we got earlier and the p value is again slightly different that we got it's 0 0.018 so it is slightly more than what we got earlier still the decision is same that means we reject the null hypothesis without assuming equal variances thanks for watching this video hope you found it worth watching please subscribe to institute of quality and reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on reliability engineering, Six Sigma and statistical quality control. Click on the subscribe and bell icon to get notified for future videos.